So this is our employee fridge if you want to bring your lunch to work as well. Who's that guy? That's our owner. Does he look like that? No. What's up? Welcome to Demolition Ranch. I'm super glad that you're here. A few days ago, I went and uh, I got to go with Silencer Co. and they showed me a gun that I had never actually played with before. It was the M249 saw. And I fell in love. And I decided, you know what Demolition Ranch needs? Demolition Ranch needs an M249 saw. And so we have one. This bad boy is mine now. <laughs> I have a saw. The M249 saw is a light machine gun. It's made to be carried by your support gunner and lay down a lot of fire. It's a belt fed gun. Let me show you. This box has a bunch of linked ammo. It slides under right here, clips in, and we have 200 rounds on a belt here. This pops up. You get your linked ammo, pull it up in there, and close her down. It puts the rounds in the chamber, then it fires them. Links fall out here, spent shells fall out here, and it keeps sucking more ammo out of your box. And so you can obviously lay down a ton of cover fire. I'm gonna take this thing out of here. This thing's, this thing is not light. So some other cool features, it has a bipod that's attached, which is pretty neat, but if you don't need it, you can put it up just like that. So what's cool about this gun is it is a light machine gun. So you can run around, you can actually clear rooms with this thing. It is very heavy, but it's not giant. It's not like a Barrett. You can walk around, clear rooms with this thing, and then you can post up and lay down some cover fire for your buddies. We got a nice carry handle here, which just looks cool. We have these iron sights which also look very cool. And one of the very interesting features is this thing actually has uh, a shoulder thing that goes up. Bill, Do you know what a barrel shot is? Particular time. I actually don't know what a barrel oh, shot is. Okay, because it's believe in your it's legislation. It's a shoulder thing that goes up. No, it's not. I never knew what they were talking about before. Now I know. So this is the, the dangerous shoulder thing that goes up when you have the ghost guns with the 30 round clip mags. It's got it all, baby. These also have a pretty quick change barrel, so you can pop this, you pull the whole barrel assembly off, and apparently people in the military will carry a spare barrel because they shoot through so much ammo, they get it so hot, so they'll get it super hot, pull it off, put a fresh barrel on, keep fighting with it. Just pretty neat system. You can't do that in an AR-15. There's one more really cool feature about this gun that I had never really thought of. Now think about if you're in battle, with this thing, and you're shooting, you're shooting, you're in firefights, it's throwing all those links out on the ground, and so you don't pick those up as you're running. They're, they're dropping all of the links. The links are what hold these rounds together. These little pieces of metal are links. So every time you fire, a link falls out on the ground with the spent shell, and you don't pick those up. And so if you run out of ammo, and you are the saw gunner, and you run out of ammo, all your buddies who have AR-15s they have the exact same kind of ammo, but it's not linked. They have them in mags, Air 15 mags. And so they can give you one bullet at a time to stick in there, but that's obviously not gonna be very practical. Well, they thought of that, and they actually made it so it also takes an Air 15 mag. If you'll notice, there's another little door right here, and it fits a standard Air 15 magazine. So you can run this thing either as a belt fed gun or you can stick a regular AR mag in this thing and it will run as well, which is pretty smart because if I run out of all my linked ammo, I go to my buddy and I say, hey, I'm out, I need help. And he throws me another mag. Now full auto out of a saw would probably drain through 30 rounds very quickly, but it's better than nothing. It's better than having a single shot saw. That'd be the saddest thing in the whole world. This gun is made by FN, Fabrique Nationale. It's a Belgian company. These things are manufactured now in America though, in South Carolina. And SAW stands for Squad Automatic Weapon. And SAW is just a super awesome, badass sounding acronym, so I can see why they picked it. And since it's called the SAW, I thought maybe we should test it out and see how good a SAW can SAW. So we're gonna do a little comparison to see how fast 
the saw, the M249 saw, can saw as opposed to a hand saw, how fast a hand saw can saw. I bet you guys saw that one coming. <laughs> I know, I know, stop it, stop it. I'm going to cut this uh, two by four with a saw, hand saw, and we'll just see how long it takes, just for a baseline. <laughs> Forty-eight seconds. Let's see how this thing runs. Oh, you know what? I need the shoulder thing that goes up. Much better. Okay. I love it. So it shoots the same round as an Air 15, but since it's such a much bigger gun, it doesn't kick like at all because it's so heavy. So I was just looking at this trying to figure out if I'm gonna shoot it this way or this way. Uh, I'm gonna shoot this way because the bullet will go all the way through this, but it would just take so long to try to chop it in half this way. So we're gonna do it this way. And the goal here is to shoot this thing enough that it falls over. I don't even know. It probably is not gonna be easy. We're shooting a 22 caliber bullet, it's tiny. So we've seen a 30 rounder in there, right? You also can stick a 40 rounder. Because of course it's an AR Mag 2. It's gonna work just fine. It looks, looks awesome. But you know what would look even more awesome? Is if we put a drum mag in there. And I have not tried this but I assume it will work. <laughs> it looks awesome. We're gonna run it with the 60 round drum mag. See how she fares. There we go. Let's go check it out. Okay, I've Chop this side, I need to aim more left. Hit the left side of this target a little bit. Shouldn't be a problem. We're not timing here because it's it's definitely slower than a handsaw. That's for sure. I think I, I think I should be aiming more instead of just trying to shoot fast. But, this is really fun, shooting 60 rounds out of this thing. We're getting there. I need to, I need to aim more. Okay. Yeah. I can do this. I think hand saws are better. Tons of ammo left. Tons. I got one round left. <laughs> Plus this one in the gun. Woo! Check this out. Got my new light machine gun smoking. I love it. Cooking that oil off. It looks so cool. M249 saw takes about five minutes and about yeah, I don't know, 20 bucks worth of ammo, okay? Versus regular saw. Um, takes about one minute, zero dollars. Um, a bit cleaner of a cut, just a bit. So let's do what this thing is made to do and fire belt fed. Was awesome. Our holes, bam! Exit wounds are always impressive. Very nice. Guys, we're going to check out this area. We got a hot area over here. We got some intel that says there may be insurgents. We're gonna go take them down. I got my shoulder thing that goes up all the way up. The shoulder thing that goes all the way up. Oh.
we got that threat neutralized. Hey, if you guys want to check out these sunglasses, I get lots of questions about them. These are, I don't know if they're in focus. These are from Shade Tree, and these have carbon fiber on the outside. They're made of wood and carbon fiber. Pretty sweet, and if you use code Demo Ranch, you get $5 off purchase of any sunglasses on the site, and we get a little kickback here. It helps us do what we do for you. Check it out, coupon code Demo Ranch. The M249 saw is impressive, but we saw that the 249 saw cannot saw as well as the regular hand saw can saw, but what if you need your saw to saw through cast iron? Good luck, hand saw. But M249 saw, what about that? Okay, we are sticking with belt fed. We're going into the skillet. Cool. Okay, survey says, yeah, this would take a long time. But not as long as if you were using a hand saw. What do you guys think about the M249 saw? I've seen these things in video games, in movies, and they're just so cool. You know what would be even cooler though? Is if we mounted it to something. Just a little idea. You guys let me know if you have any other ideas or what you would like to see me do with this gun. And I would love to help you out and make that happen. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you and me and my soul. We'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby!